All praises, all honor, all glory be unto Yahweh. Bahashem, Yahushai, Bahashem, Raka, Kodash. Double honors to the apostle elders of Great Millstone that rule well. And peace and salutation to all the Akim doing and pushing this word in all honesty, truth, and sincerity worldwide. And a sincere shalom to the elect. Now, this video here, um, <laughs> this is, uh, hey man, that's how you know the spirit. Spirit tells you things, you know, at certain times, man. Last night, I went to go do this video. Now, I had this video on reserve since November 18th, 2023, okay? Apostle Elder uh, Tahar had uploaded on this channel here. I can't, you, you see the symbol there. I can't, um, I don't, I can't remember, um, the name of that channel, okay? But it was uh, Vocab and Sayonetta, okay? Talking about the MOTB. And when I, holy shit, when I um, read it here, it says Sayonetta surprises with MOTB question, okay? So now, today, I see Apostle Elder Tahar upload this video, but then I noticed down here, I said, it says, uh, and Deuteronomy 21. So I guess vocab and uh, side nigga must have revisited the, um, you know, podcast or whatever, can pass podcast, whatever, whatever they call this shit that they're doing, right? So I guess they must have revisited, revisited it, okay? And through the spirit, you know, I was going through it, I said, oh, you know what, I gotta go do some videos, you know what I mean? It's raining, you know what I mean? What else, you know? I gotta go to work, whatever, but it's raining now. Let me let me just get some uh, videos in. So, as I'm about to go out, I said, you know what, let me watch a couple videos too, you know? Keep up to date with what's going on. And I see Apostle Elder Tahar's video here, and I said, wait, last night I made this whole... <laughs> I made this whole thing because... Watching last night his video here that he was talking H plus episode. I went and watched the whole whole damn series. Okay. It got me, you know, through the inspiration. Just you know, and I remember seeing this vocab video here. This is why it's favorited on my thing here because I put, I meant to do a video since when I recorded it. That was like November uh eighteenth or whatever. 2023 right so as i'm gonna go you know set up the video everything i set it up from like last night so as i'm gonna go do the video now today i said yeah let me let me you know keep up to date with what's going on and then i seen apostle elder tahar's video there and i said you see that that's the spirit speaking man that's the spirit speaking because here it is you watch this one last night and you got the inspiration and you remember this video here which i you know took here of vocab and them speaking i said yeah let me tie everything together because vocab you know he don't go into the prophecies in the motb he thinks it's uh uh, uh something you know spiritual uh yeah spiritual in a sense instead of physical so i said you know what let me let me um you know get into this video you know and i started taking because i went, when i watched this i said wait this reminds me of this video here as well, okay? This uh, 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 video here as well. If you haven't seen it, go watch it. It's on Netflix, okay? So I said to myself, okay, I'm going to go, you know, do a, a video concerning this issue here, which is prophecy. And also, too, a brother had put this up as well, okay? GMS, North Carolina, 777. And it clearly, I mean, if you can't understand this at this point through Pictionary, like you got to show a baby or something, man, you, you, you're you never going to get it. You know, at least the most high open up your eyes, man. Unless the most high opens up your eyes and then then you go, ah, oh, I get it. Right. But I mean, come on now. If you can't get this by now, then probably most likely you weren't meant to get it. But like I said, you know, the most high. You know, if you want, if he wants to reveal this to you at the last end, then yeah, you know. But let's get into this. To this. Let's when I bring this up to people here. who believe that the mark of the beast is literal, they think it's.
Now, when I bring this up to people who believe that the mark of the beast is literal, they think it's not a good parallel. But the fact is, both these marks are described in Revelation. But the mark that Christians have is not literal. It's simply a way to say that it is clear who they are assigned with, what side they're on, basically. Yeah, when so you the mark the of the mark. beast is essentially saying that these are the people who align with... When you take the mark, it's serving... It's a badge of servitude. You're showing your alliance to who, you know, who you're really with, okay? Who you're siding with when you take that MOTB, all right? You're letting them say, yeah, these people own me, all right? This is why we won't take the knee to the MOTB. Because Yahweh Bashimel Shai, he owneth us, okay? And we won't bow to Baal. Our servitude is to Yahweh Bashimel Shai, okay? Satanic system. Now, I do believe in the end times that that will result on a practical level in Christians being shut out of the economic system, but not because the mark of the beast is a mic. Yeah, he took a little bit of that from David Guzak, and I'm, I'm pretty sure he didn't like what he read, and we're gonna read it, okay? We're gonna read it. Prove all things, right? We're gonna read it. Chip, like the har of GMS or the Sakari guys teach, not because of that. And in fact, we're expected to believe that. We are expected to believe. John is writing this book, and he is telling people a pewter chip is going to be implanted in their skin in the 21st century, and they're supposed to make sense of the. Yes, it's called prophecy, stupid. It's called prophecy. This is why a lot of the things, what you know, the the prophets were explaining in future tense. Okay. You could do, they could only resort to things that were around them, okay? They couldn't say, that's the MOTB, you know? It's gonna be a computer chip. How the hell are you gonna tell somebody a computer back then? They don't, they're like, what, what the fuck are you talking about, man? Computer? What the hell is this? What's wrong with this guy, you know? Much less them reading these scriptures and, you know, they're getting bugged out. But, but, you know, people who don't have the understanding, again, bugged up by what they're reading, okay? Well, that example, when you go back to Genesis, they think the serpent was actually a, a, a snake standing up on his feet or something. And, you know, they align it with the scientists saying, yeah, snakes had feet. They lost, they lost their feet and arms and they crawled on their belly, okay? All this whack bullshit. Now, they really think that the snake in the garden, okay, the serpent was an actual snake. You see, so they off. They don't. They don't have the spirit to discern things, man. So going back into John's time, all right, John the Revelator, you can't, you can't put the word computer in there. There's no like, what you can use is the things around you, like much like today. How am I seeing something far off in the future, and I'm saying? You know, this is a prophecy, a vision that's given unto me. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you the best explanation of what I've seen with things around you that you can relate to and you can understand. Okay, so you, 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 you're off, man. You're off. The book. They would have to understand what that meant, and I do not believe in such an a contextual reading that would be completely irrelevant to the people reading the book it's actually a it's for us now it's actually a prophecy for future events vocab not for that time and this was another thing too that a lot of people thought they thought that the kingdom was gonna come right then and there right and no 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 that's why the book contains prophecy okay things that will happen in the future future tense not right then and there, okay? And a lot of the people, they thought that was going to happen right then and there, okay? And when you read these scriptures too, you could hear, I want to say, you know, eagerness or hastiness in a, in a bad sense, but come on, you're going through a lot of hell. You, you, you're going to wish that the kingdom is right around the corner. But then you got here, this this is a prophecy for 2,000-some 2000, 2000 years off in the future. You know what I mean? 
So these things are written for these the, the prophecy vocab. What's wrong with you? Let's hear that again. They would need to understand what that meant, and I do not believe in such an a contextual reading that would be completely irrelevant reading. to the people reading the book. It's actually a it's for us now. Those pro I keep. Yeah, see, that's uh, you know, that was the uh, Apostle Elder to heart, you know. And I said, these guys can't deal with, with, with prophecy. Like I was saying to my woman, you know, in the scriptures, there are manifold scriptures, okay? Sometimes when it's saying about wine and women, like in uh, uh, Syrac, wine and women will cause men of understanding to go off, uh, roughly phrasing. It could be talking about actual wine, gulp, 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 yayan, and women, the damn she devil, <laughs> you know? Or it could be talking about philosophies, okay? Keep me from the strange woman that flat earth with her tongue, right? Philosophies. Or that could go into actual, you know, a woman of another nation, a heathen woman, you know what I mean? Not desired, whatever. So th these people, they, they lost in the sauce. Now, like I entitled it, we're moving towards a digital system, vocab. That's what the importance of you know, prophecy and the seer, being able, being able to see these things afar off, okay? That's the importance, man. Not, you know, you, you vocab, you fucking lost, man. You lost in the sauce. Just give up, okay? Just take your damn retirement check and, and go, guy. All right? Look at this. Central Bank, the CBDC. Central Bank, okay? The Central central bank digital currency all right are the digital form of a government issue currency that is pegged to a physical com commodity and we going you know <laughs> these people out here you guys are actual numbers in esau edom system man they are issued by central banks whose role is to support financial s services for a nation's government and its commercial banking system set monetarily policies and issue currencies okay currency now let's go into the internet of things okay the interconnection via the internet of computing devices the internet of computing devices embedded in every day objects enables them to send and receive data of f one of slakia f one thing can prevent the internet of things from transforming the way we live and work it will be a breakdown in security okay breakdown you know with the hackers and all this other bullshit but no nah, man it's gonna move towards that okay your wristwatch your fucking cars, everything is, is hooked up to the computer now. And now that's going into this, you know, this is what they want to hook you up to the computer with. This is why this movie, movies like this is so important and movies like this is so important because Esau Edom is actually telling you what he wants to do, okay? He's actually showing you before your faces, look, I'm going to transform this bitch and you, I'm going to own all you. I'm going to know where you physically are, your movements, your account, who you send money to, how you got that money, where you're at, if you pass gas during the night, if your heart, you know, you having sex, if you see something on TV, we'll see it through your eyes. The brain MOTV and the Internet of Things. Your TV will be able to tell where your eyes are fixated at. Your phone can do that right now. And if there's a picture on your phone, right, they, they can know, look, this guy's watching this. You know, picture of this girl and he's getting, um, as they would say, aroused, right? He's getting strong feelings about her. He's, he's building a connection. We can see it, you know, and we're picking up on all his, uh, uh, how do you call it, uh, uh, emotions or whatnot. Because they got facial recognition on these phones and Esau Edom, he's a mad scientist. He can have a device look at your face and tell you if you're getting... If you're getting the hots for some girl, okay? By how the temperature on your face, cheekbone, this twitch, that, blah, 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 how your lips, this and that. 
Yeah, because Esau Edom, he'll tell you, yo, if you see something you like, especially with girls, their lips, you know, the blood flow goes to the lips and increases their lip size by, I don't know, 20% or 10%, or whatever, whatever fucking bullshit Esau Edom has said, right? So he's got it do marked down to a wicked evil science. So Esau Edom is showing you in these movies his projection for the future, all right? But you got people like Vocab that want to tell you that this thing is not going to be something physical, okay? David Guzak, right here, his homeboy, okay? And this is where I have a feeling that he read this and he, you know, deflected because I heard him mention something uh, when he was talking to Sayonetta, practical, and we'll read it right now. He caused us all to receive a mark under the government of the beast and his associates. All will be given a mark. Without the mark, no uh, slakia. One will not be able to participate in the economy. Okay, without the mark, okay, the karagma, the MOTB, no one may buy or sell except one who has the mark of his name and we know what it says this you know this is the different translation <laughs> so going into that since the ancient greek word for mark koragma isn't generally applied to people some have taken this symbol as a uh sim some have taken this as a symbolic mark but a literal mark needed to buy or sell is certainly conceivable and practical okay he said oh, i don't believe it's practical or whatever well look at the society we're moving digital you jackass what's wrong with this guy what's up with this guy yeah we know what's up with him uh continuing the technology to give up to give people a mark that enables them to buy and sell in the electronic economy is available yes the MOTB is is here okay there are many different ways it could happen and such programs are proposed and tested constantly yeah that's why we see Elon Musk going back into these movies right here H plus you know the H plus you know all these things Esau Edom wants to fulfill and bring out, okay, and do and being successful in them, right? And he's testing them right now. He's making them available. He's putting them in your watches. He's, he's giving you comfortability. He's making you comfortable to it. It's called gradualism, okay? And you can walk up with your phone. In the 80s, you can do that, right? This is why we tell you it's called prophecy, stupid vocab, all right? So moving towards the digital system, vocab, you do error, and you others concerning the MOTB. Yeah, you other camps out there when it's concerning the MOTB, you want to talk about spiritual. We just read that in no way possible is this going to be something spiritual. This is going to be something physical, okay? Soon you have, well, yeah, this is what I was donning over last night after watching that uh, Apple Plus or H plus, right? Soon you will have to have good credit to get a job, okay? Because right now you have to have good credit to rent. You understand? Because when you go renting in certain places, they check your credit. Usually nowadays, everybody's checking people's credit. That wasn't back in the day. You might find some slum lords and little crack crack ass places that <laughs> you know they don't check your credit and shit. But soon enough, all that's going to have to change because shit's going to be going digital. And the forms that these uh, landlords are going to have to fill out, right, it's going to have it's going to consist of having a, 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 a credit check. OK. Esau Edom, he controls the rules, man. He's not stupid. Dummy. Look at the movie Total Recall, Mad Max, etc. Rich separated from the poor, literally. OK. And if you don't have that MOTB in your hand, look at those movies. Remember the rich lived up up in the uh, sky and shit? 
all clean ear and all that stuff, good food. And then down on the floor, total recall and shit, down on the floor is a bunch of mess. If I'm not mistaken, look at Mad Max. Okay, the whole world was gone into chaos. Okay, and this is what Esau Eden wants to happen before he pronounces, yo, take the MOTB. See, we told you. Now you'll be hooked up to the digital system. You'll have access to everything. Or what, you want to go live out there? Outside the wall? The wall. Many is various different movies, man. If you're not living inside of here, you're not living good. If you're living out there, you got to fend for yourself. You got to watch out. You could get raped, man and woman, you know? So, yeah, we read the David Guzak commentary. Let's go into something real quick. 1 Samuel chapter 9 and verse 1. Before time in Israel, when a man went to inquire of God, thus he spake, Come, let us go to the seer. For he that is now called a prophet was before time called a seer. And that's right. Before time in, in, in Israel, they were called a, a, a seer. Now we're called prophets, okay? What's wrong with these damn people, man? Drive down the street, man. What the fuck is your problem? This is how you know these people are wicked and evil, man. I'm sitting here in my car trying to do a video. And you know these people with their fucking headlights nowadays. You know you're going to turn. Why you come all the way up into the midsection, beaming your lights into my car, and then slowly, slowly turn and then take off? That's wickedness, man. But anyways, going back into this. This society needs to be gone, man. So it's a, a visionary, you know, that's that's what they're called, a visionary, okay? Man, 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 a seer, a visionary, somebody who could see off into the future and be inspired through the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai with what they're reading to see. Now, what John was given, he was given directly to him to write down as a prophecy for what? For the fucking future, man. Romans chapter 15 and verse 4. Written a four time for our learning. Okay. Written a four time for our learning. Okay. So if you don't understand that, if you don't have that, like, you know, in your mind that, look, the Bible is a book of prophecy. It's about things that are going to happen in the future. Obviously, Yahweh Shai is not here yet. Right. And it speaks about the coming of Yahweh Shai. Right. So those people didn't understand that back then. They thought that was going to happen then and there and now. But it was not so. Okay? This is what prophecy is about, vocab. Okay? Because you, 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 you don't get it. You don't get it at all because it's not with you. Okay? you just you just an annoying fucking... Like an annoying bitch, man. Proverbs chat, annoying, stink, smelly bitch, man, that comes around and you're just like, man, shoot, man, what, what is it? You want five bucks? You want five bucks? Proverbs chapter 27 and verse 12. A prudent man foreseeth the evil and hideth himself, but the simple pass on and are punished. A prudent man foreseeth the evil. Why? Because the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahushua is working with that man, giving that man the ability to see. What, what is being presented in front of him, okay? 1 Corinthians chapter 2, and um, let me start from uh, 7. But we speak the wisdom of God in a, in a mystery, even the hidden wisdom, which God ordained before the world unto our glory, which, and before the world, see that? So when you talk about John writing something down and those people can understand, look, the Lord works in in, in prophecy, okay? He, he makes it happen, write it down, and then boom, it happens, man. What the hell's wrong with this guy? Which none of the princes of this prince prince of this world knew, for if they had known, they would have not crucified the Lord of glory. Right, Yahweh Shai. But as it is written, I have not seen ear nor ear her, neither entered into the heart of man the things which God hath appeared for them that love him. But Yahweh have revealed them unto us by his Spirit, for the Spirit searches all things, yea, the deep things of God, of Yahweh.
Okay, and even if you go into one, or slack you. Yeah. Verse 15, but he that is spiritual judges all things, yet he himself is judge of no man. For who have known the mind of the Lord that he may instruct him. But we have the mind of Hamashiach. You see that? So we have the spirit within us, and we have the mind. We have the instruction. We've been instructed from the Lord to see. Okay? <laughs> Handpicked from Yahweh. Given on to Yahweh Shai. Lord, will we be the elect? So this is what a prudent man has the ability to do. Okay? You lack that ability. All right? You were not made a watchman. You were set up as opposition. Okay? You ops. Ezekiel chapter 3 and 17. Son of man, I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. Okay? You, you're, you're a kiss ass for those you hats. Okay? You're a kiss ass for them. All right? Anything they do is all right, it's cool. It's all good. They're, they're justified by, uh, uh, of doing their wickedness. Okay? And then another thing too, you, Think that this word is for everybody else. What does it just say right there? It says, I have made thee a watch round to the house of Israel. Okay. So anything those guys do over there, you're okay with those those fakes. Okay. That's not what a true watchman would do. A true watchman would point out and reprove. So anyways, going back into this, Son of man, I have made thee a watchman out of the house of Israel, Israelites, okay, prophets of Israel. Therefore, hear the word at my mouth and give them warning from me. And that's what we're doing, right? This is what we're doing. We're warning two-thirds of Israel about the coming events, about these things which the Lord has had written down. Let me get this real quick. Had written down in the book because what? They're faithful and true. Second Ezra chapter 15 and 1. Behold, speak down the ears of my people the words of prophecy which I'll put in thy mouth, saith the Lord, and cause them to and cause them to be written in paper, for they are faithful and true. Right. They were they were forced to be written down in paper. Even um let's see right here. Hold up a second. No, wait, 12. So 36 or something. Yep, right here it tells you. Right, right, right. Therefore, write all these things that thou hast seen in a book. Okay? So all of the, the prophecies, all the faithful sayings of the Lord is written down here in the book. Okay? This is what the uh, watchmen, Romans 15 and 4, they're supposed to be reading these things, hearing the word of, of God at his mount. Okay? And going out there and, 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 you know, pushing out this word and giving a warning on to the people about those coming events. About the MOTB, you know what I mean? The, the, the shit that's about to come down on Israel. Jacob's trouble, okay? Getting right with the Lord. The doors of mercy being opened up. Who your creator is. How to call upon your creator. The true name. This is what a watchman is supposed to be doing. But like I said, you know, con oh, what the fuck? Slakia, hold up a second. Oh, it's still going. Slakia. Phew. But like I said, you know, you either, uh, you others concerning the MOTB, you're not pronouncing it right. You're causing us to error too. Okay? So let's go to Romans chapter 15 and verse 4. I thought the thing had turned off, man. 16 and 18. Yeah, 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 you know what? Let me go into this real quick. Romans chapter 16 and verse 17. Now I beseech you, brethren, mark them which cause divisions and offenses contrary to the doctrine which ye have learned, and avoid them. That's why we don't deal with you at the camps. That's why we don't walk with you at the camps. We don't, uh, uh, you know, it's great. You you tell the people they're Israelites and whatnot, but you got to get it right. You got to get it 100% right, okay? And that's why Amos chapter 3 says... 3 and 3 says what it says. Can two walk together? At least they be agreed. Okay? We can't, we can't have no confusion. Okay? 
If there's no, if they don't teach according to this doctrine, was that uh, Isaiah eight and twenty? It's because there's no light in them. Okay, we can't walk with darkness, man. Verse eighteen: For they that are such serve not our Lord Yahweh Shai Mashiach, but their own bellies, and by good words and fierce speeches deceive the hearts of the simple. And that's where vocab, you know, you come in with them. Uh, 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 good words and fierce speeches. That's what the enemy does. Okay, and you two thirds, you've learned that 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 way too. Okay, and you you camps concerning you with you guys who know that you're Israelites. Okay, of the circumcision, you're doing that too. You're realizing and bowing down to the woman, the queen of heaven type worship, because you know the woman carries a lot of the money. You know what I mean? And you're bowing down with these sweet words, man. Giving them smooth words. When really you're not supposed to be giving them no sweet and smooth words, man. The Lord is not a respecter of persons, man. And that's what you guys are coming with, okay? In a fashion, in a sense. Because you're supposed to be giving them the blunt truth. Right? And vocab, he does that too. He, he's coming and deceiving our people, deceiving the simple, okay? And you two thirds. I mean, you, 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 you guys of the circumcision too, man. Okay, and we can see it, man. You shall be known by your fruits. Job, you know, the deceiver and the deceiver is. Job chapter 12 and 16. With him is strength and wisdom. The deceived and the deceiver is. So all of you guys out there misleading, you know, those of the circumcision misleading. Hey, the Lord said the deceiver and the deceiver is. Vocab, you too. Okay, you out there deceiving our people. Okay. Uh, let me start from uh, 8. 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 8, right? Yep, 8, 12. And then shall that wicked be revealed, whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth. And what are we out here doing? Isaiah chapter 25 and verse 7. You know what I mean? We're breaking down all of those uh, veils, man. Okay. And we are the, the, the mouthpiece of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, okay? And shall destroy it with the brightness of his coming, even him whose coming is after the working of Satan with all power and signs and lying wonders and with all deceitfulness of unrighteousness in them that perish because they receive not the love of the truth that they might be saved. And for this cause, God, for this cause, Yahweh shall send them strong delusion that they should believe a lie. And they believe in vocab. They believe in, you know, the two-thirds. And you, uh, uh, of the circumcision, you really, hey, man, that's why you shouldn't be walking hand-in-hand -hand with vocab. Because soon as, come on, let me sit down and, and buy you guys dinner. Then it's a, a, a little envelope push. <laughs> it's a little envelope push. Don't open it here when you get home. When you get home, call me. My number's in there, too. I know it's Sakari. They got vocab on dial, on speed dial, man. <laughs> you know? But a little envelope push here and there. You know, a couple of days back and forth. Next thing you know, you're walking with darkness, man. One eye cover, one eye open, okay? And sooner, sooner or later, before you know it, you know, you selling out, man. You selling out for the other side, which is no good. Shall the throne of iniquity have fellowship with thee? You know, you shouldn't be rubbing shoulders with these guys. Because sooner or later, that prize, that gift, it destroyeth. So anyways, going back into this. So, yeah, a lot of these guys believe in that strong illusion that, you know, here it is, the MOTB is not something physical, but it's something spiritual. That's a strong delusion that you've been sent, man. Okay? It's physical, and it's here. Okay? That they might all, uh, Slakia, that they all might be damned who believe not the truth, but had pleasure in unrighteousness. Right? And that's what you get from mixing up with those people and listening to those people, man. You have to have the 100% truth. And these guys ain't pushing the 100% truth, man. 
They're not visionaries. They're not seers. They're not prophets. Okay? They're giving you deceits of their own heart, of their own mind, man. Jeremiah 14 and 14 and 15. Okay? So, hey, man. The Lord is going to dust these, you know, these rebels out, man. All who is not pushing the MOTB is the MOTB. There is no light in you, man. The Lord, the Lord done put out your candle, man. You just walk around foaming at the mouth, okay? Isaiah chapter 8 and verse 20. To the law and to the testimony, if they speak not according to this word, it is because there is no light in them, okay? Darkness has covered them, man. Though they may know they are Israelite, some may know the name of Yahweh by Shimei or Shai, but they ain't altogether 100% truth, man. They ain't, they, ain't, they ain't got it, okay? So with that, hey, man, we're moving towards a digital system. Stay away from guys like Vocab and these side niggas, man. Side, side niggas, okay? Stay away from these side niggas, man, because these guys, too, they compel you. Them themselves being... Uh, caught up in strong delusions and then giving the people smooth words, sm smooth words, deceiving words, man, fear speeches, you know. So, hey, man, with that, all praises, all honor, all glory be unto Yahweh, Baha Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Baha Hashem, Raka Kodash. Double honors to the apostle elders of Great Millstone that rule well, and peace and salutation to all the Akim doing and pushing this word in all honesty, truth, and sincerity worldwide and a sincere shalom to the elect matthew chapter 24 and 13 to you all wah abad baban shalom